Welcome to Columbus. Dave Revs and Jerry DiNardo, Howard Griffith just got done watching Ohio State fresh off a 12-0 campaign as they head into the 2013 season, one that sees them as the preseason number two team in the nation. So, guys, let's get to the biggest question first. Is this a national championship caliber team? I, I certainly think they're close. I, I think they probably would like more depth to call themselves a national championship team. I think it's a national championship program, and they'll develop the depth. I think the issues for this year's team on the field, Howard, they've got to replace those front seven, as, six of the front seven, like everybody knows. But how fast can they do that is, it will have some bearing on the national championship. And I think on offense, they need some more of a presence to tail back than they had a year ago. You know, I, I don't think they're there yet, but – for, the, for a lot of the same reasons, Coach. You, you talk about having to be able to go out and actually accomplish that. And I think that's what we really have to be able to see. We have to go out and see that front uh, seven be able to be productive. We talk about Ohio State. We talk about them winning national titles, and that, that's the question. So they have to be able to have a dominant defense and that really starts up front we know how outstanding they are on the back half of that defense but up front they've got to get that figured out offensively you talk about the tailback position they've got to find one that they can get what do you say over 1200 yards out of Absolutely. from a single guy and they can be dominant there as well you know and you look at the national championship game i mean you look at it last year Notre Dame, alabama two really good teams but the matchup favored alabama so much so you know ohio state very well if they get to that game what if, if they face a downhill attack? Have they developed a front seven yeah. to stop a downhill attack? So they could be in the top two, but it's still the matchup in the championship game. Fair to say after watching today that the middle three in that defense concern you more than the front four? Is, is that a fair assessment? I mean, there's so much talent in that defensive line group, albeit young talent. Uh, middle three. I, the linebackers. The linebackers. Yeah, the, I think certainly the depth at, at linebacker. Uh, I would still say up front, though, first. because, really? it, Yeah, because at some point, if they line up in two tight ends or I formation and they pound away at you, they're going to test the down people before the linebackers. And, and we know how good Ryan Shazier is. I mean, he is right. a tremendous linebacker at, at all levels, and we can only expect him to get better at that as well. Grant gives him an opportunity to be special as well. But you talk about it, it's really about the depth and those guys being able to stay healthy up front. But at the end of the day, they still have to go out and prove it. And I'm not saying that, that they won't, but I think they have to do it before I will say that you know they're the number two co team in the country. I think we'd be remiss if we didn't mention Braxton Miller. What stood out about his performance, Howard? You know, Braxton Miller, uh, it, it appears that the game may have really slowed down for him as far as practice is concerned. Being able to understand what's going to be expected of him, we have opportunities to talk to him. And, and one of the big keys this year was about his leadership. And let's be honest, at the quarterback position, that's where you have to take it to the next level. He wants to win the Heisman Trophy. He wants to be the best player in college football. And I think it's not the stuff on the field. I think it's just the leadership and the way he communicates with his teammates that will get him to that next level. I, I saw a guy today in Braxton that – really responded to coaching very well I didn't feel like he was pressing he obviously made mistakes who goes through a three hour or whatever it was <laughs> practice without making a mistake and the coaches would coach him and he'd moved on I mean his body language compared to a year ago when he was trying to impress you know Urban Meyer is a rock star coach right yeah. so the quarterback goes out and tries to impress him right. every single practice it was he, he had so much more poise today during practice it was really impressive and I think the other thing to that as well we get an opportunity to talk to these players right and you can tell the difference after talking with a player after a couple of years, just the growth that they're making and the maturity that they're making you know, off the field. And I think that's as important when you talk about that quarterback, when you talk about leading a team, wanting to be a national championship, all of those qualities need to be embodied in the quarterback position. Well, plenty more on the Buckeyes, including our conversation with Urban Meyer coming up when our Buckeyes preview show debuts here on BTN on August the 13th.